in this week's Northwoods Adventure. Shane Lee proves what kind of fun guy he is at the Wild Edible Fall Mushrooms Workshop at the Northland Arboretum in Baxter. Edible or inedible? That is the question when gathering wild mushrooms. People who attended the mushroom workshop found the answer at the Northland Arboretum. There's a lot of people who know a little bit about mushrooms and maybe hunt the morel or the chicken of the woods. Um, but there's a whole, you know, there's a great number of additional mushrooms that are available to you with just a little bit more practice and confidence and skill. The workshop begins with a lecture and slideshow presentation covering the major groups of edible mushrooms as well as their lookalikes. The ones that grow in your in your yard too that you have to look at and make sure you know it's just not the top of the mushroom you have to look underneath whether it's the spores whether it's the spines you know what there is on to find out what makes it edible or not edible. More than 100 mushrooms were on display labeled as edible, inedible or poisonous. It certainly make me a bit more comfortable going out into the woods and picking something to eat. That's exactly what the participants did. The class split into two groups to hunt the woods for mushrooms for nearly an hour. The hunt was prosperous as the foragers found a scaber stock bolete, a blue ink bolete that changes color when cracked open, and a stinkhorn along with the edible stinkhorn eggs. Workshop participants found nearly 40 types of mushrooms today, and they used their newly gained knowledge to identify them and put the edible ones on a pizza. Cooking the mushrooms is actually super key because everybody here, you know, the class is about wild edibles, and, you know, we go out and teach them, but until you really get people to, to eat them, you know, it actually kind of cements it. The group baked and happily consumed six different kinds of pizza. The oyster rhubarb comes highly recommended. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.